Hell yeah, brother. That's how that's just starting off. All right. Let's take a look at the, this is the 116.8 proof variant of the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. So, so, I get a lot of like, I get like tobacco a little bit. A little bit, yeah. It's tobacco, um, the, the typical baking spice, vanilla, nutmeg. That's sort of what comes up the most. Definitely has a sweetness to the smell. It almost. Hear me out. Do you smell a little chalk? Like a chalky kind of smell. Just a little bit. <laughs> but it was enough that I noticed it. And it's enough that this review noted it as well. NHLshop.ca is the largest selection of very faced NHL fan gear. It's not as much as it seems to, to point out. But I it's there. Game day. It's definitely mostly vanilla. Vanilla baking, baking spice. spices, There's like a little, a little bit of tobacco. It mentions, yeah, I definitely get the. It says brownie. I get more tobacco. Than tobacco. Yeah. It's. I mean, it smells good. It smells complex. It's like it's like the opposite of the overhaul, where it's very complex on the nose. Make your picks with a few easy clicks at ProLineStadium.com or download the ALC app and get into the game. A lot of rye bite. A lot of rye bite and a lot of heat. Like, whoa. What is? Just as good as Mother Tech. But just as Whoa. good as Mother Tech. Just as good. And again, not in a bad way. That has so just much warmth to it. It's warm. It's it's not like the overhaul. This has warmth the whole way through. Yeah. What is what is that right on the like right on the tongue? Right whenever you take it in. What is that? They offer the ultimate protection front, back. I can't believe it's such a distinct flavor. Cocoa. Tastes like chocolate. Yes. Tonight. Hundred percent, it tastes like chocolate. It, it doesn't. It doesn't taste like milk chocolate. Though. It tastes like almost like a like an uncured cocoa kind of a yeah. Or like a dark. If it tasted like a like a processed chocolate, like a dark chocolate. Yeah, like a very high cocoa dark chocolate. Like find the dark the darkest dark chocolate you can get, and that's kind of what I'm getting here. Yeah. Um, it's definitely pretty oaky. Which is weird because they don't have an age statement. This is pretty young, to my knowledge. This is just wild turkey, but uncut. Interesting. So it's just regular old wild turkey, just not watered down at all. I mean, that's what wild turkey 101 is. is it's just watered down to 101 instead of 80 or 86. I think it's 80. Um, I get a lot of like the finish. Definitely, the you get more of that cocoa. Definitely getting a Kentucky hug out of this one. Kentucky Hug, you get a lot of, it's, it's the flavor, I think it's, it's enhanced by the fact that the flavors you get on the finish are very rich. Yeah. There's there's warmth to it. I think a little bit of what we're feeling isn't warmth, it's that flavor. Yeah. Because there's like, hmm. Almost tastes a little, ooh, ooh. A lot of cocoa, a lot of chocolate. You definitely get like the like cranberry kind of flavor a little bit too. A little bit, yeah. More on the finish than the than the palate. On the palate, I get like I just get like raisin a little, little bit on the palate. I haven't had a raisin in so long. I couldn't tell you. It's like that kind of that kind of like dried fruit flavor. Yeah, I can see it's, that. Hmm. Now it's, this is very different than the overhaul in the sense that it doesn't have necessarily the bite, but it has more warmth, yeah. and more heat. And it only has a essentially 3% or 3 proof difference, 1.5%. Yeah. It's really, they're worlds of difference. Oh, for sure. It's amazing how they're almost the same proof, but... They, they literally taste like two different alcohols entirely. It's, the thing is, it's really complex and it gets a lot of interesting flavor notes that I can't say I've gotten from anything else. Yeah, it's a That cocoa doesn't come out in a lot of whiskeys. Usually you get, you get the baking spice, but cocoa doesn't overpower it. Usually it's like the nutmeg and the cinnamon that, that takes the, that 
takes most of it, but yeah. No, you get you get cocoa. You get I get some vanilla. Especially the more it sits, you get a little bit more vanilla and a little bit more of that cranberry kind of dry fruit For sure. on the finish. But the palate, there's other stuff, but it's so much cocoa. Though. That's that's what you're drawn to. Now this is like, and there's definitely fucking warmth to that. That is like, I'm still feeling warmth from it. Oh, so. And I had my last sip a minute, a minute and a half ago. No, this is. Every foolproof I've had is so dramatically different, and this one I've, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's easily the most unique I've had. Yeah. I still put seventeen ninety two foolproof top for me, but I like seventeen ninety two flavor profile. I love so seventeen ninety two. I need to try that foolproof. I haven't had it. I haven't had it yet. I have it, so you can try it one of these times, or today if you want to have one more little taste. Um, I'll try it next time. Fair enough. Uh, but no, it's amazing how how different this one is. Just in, compared to any foolproof, let alone compared yeah, to absolutely. Total. This like the other ones like the first three weren't dramatic. Like there was there was there were there were significant differences, but it wasn't dramatic differences. This is dramatically different from everything else we've had. For sure. That was a little bit safe. Um, no, this this is one where I would buy another bottle easily. Yeah, you know, it's it's very interesting. 40, 45 or forty six bucks. Yeah, for a. And it's interesting because this is their barrel proof, but they have their their age stuff, which for those who don't know is under Russell's. They have their ten year bourbon, which is like forty bucks, and their ten year or their six year rye, which is like. Thirty nine, forty. It's like in the 40, 40 to forty five range. I want to say. Um, I know the rye is slightly more expensive than the bourbon, but like, I think Wild Turkey is actually starting to surprise me with their different takes on things. Yeah. Because their Long Branch is so unique as well. It's that one's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. This one is a lot more uh, palatable and more appealing to people. For sure. But the Long Branch, having tried it. The smokiness you get from that mesquite charcoal, you get so much of elements of like a Jack Daniels or uh, you know other Tennessee whiskeys for being a Kentucky. And it's, and it's interesting because like I don't get a ton of the same flavor profiles that I get out of a regular wild turkey in this. Yes, so much. It, it's amazing what that water changes and dilutes. Oh yeah. There's so much raw flavor in the barrel proof, and that's why I've I've grown to like barrel proofs. They are so. They're they're uncut at all, and they're so unrefined that you get the base flavor. You get everything that comes from the barrel. Yeah. The water doesn't take anything. There's no water to take anything away. But no, this is it's. This is really good. Compared to, it doesn't taste like a wild turkey product. No, absolutely not. Yeah. I would never pin that as a wild turkey product if you get. Let me try it. Yeah, I, I would maybe on the nose a little bit, but like even still, it's there's, there's so much different about it. Even the 101 is so dramatically different. That's a different. I mean, that's a pretty significant proof point difference, but still. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's it's solid. Yeah. It's it's again not my favorite, but definitely the most interesting barrel proof, and it's one that I mean, I obviously have recommended to multiple people for that exact reason. If you're looking for something different, this is a good one. That is a name you know, for sure. Quality you know, but a taste you don't. But.